That's him coming at you. Yep, I see him. He would have a cane. He has cerebral palsy. No, you come in. He drove up as close as he could to the door so he didn't have to walk as far because he has the cane. I told him to come on inside and he finally agreed. Meet Dustin McFetridge. He's 26 years old, divorced, suffers from cerebral palsy, and collects social security benefits. He's driven five hours to have sex with a girl posing as a 13-year-old. As you'll find out, this isn't his first time chatting inappropriately with a minor. Our decoy Casey starts to feel sorry for him as she watches him struggle to get out of the car. But then she remembers what he'd been saying online. When you listen to him talking, he really is no different. He still is wanting to have sex with a little girl. Using the screen name Wrestling Dude East Tennessee, he asks the girl if he could be her first at sex. What have you done with a guy? Nothing. Wow. So I'd be your first at everything? Yeah. After he tells the decoy about his disability, he moves on to talking about anal and oral sex. He asks if he can shave her private parts and later makes a rather bizarre request. Send me a pair of your panties. Pick a pair you want me to have and wear them for two or three days straight. For reals? Yeah. He also asks her if he can have a three-way with the decoy and her sister and he repeatedly asks the girl to marry him. When they make a plan to meet, he tells her he'll bring an electric razor. KBI Commissioner David James watches on a monitor as McFetridge comes into the house. You first look at him and, and you see him and, and you could say that I, I felt a little bit sorry for him, a little bit. And then you remember why we're here. You know, whether he has, has cerebral palsy or not, he still was there to molest child That's and pretty cool, right? there's no excuse for molesting a child I don't care what it is so what's up nothing nothing <laughs> no. did you bring the razors yeah so what did you want to do with them I was kind of confused I'll show you later can you just tell me please I won't come here if you don't tell me I thought you wanted to be shaved down there is that what you wanted to do yeah that's what you wanted to oh okay <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I'd rather, like, talk about it first so I kind of know. You know what I mean? What, what do you want to talk about, sweetie? Well, like, tell me what you're going to do so I'm, like, kind of prepared. It's just easier to explain it as we go along before I do it. Well, like, what would you do first? I don't know. I'd like to hold you. And then what? And kiss you. That's why, that's why I was asking you to come over here. Well, yeah, I understand that, but... Yeah, I will not force you to do anything, sweetheart. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Well, I I wasn't going to do nothing. You weren't going to do anything? No. Well, why don't I, you tell me what your plan was tonight? Huh? I didn't bring nothing with me. I didn't do nothing bad. And I would never force nobody to do anything against their will, sir. But you did bring some things with you tonight. I, I brought a razor. A razor. And what were you going to do with the razor? I thought she wanted be shaved down there and I thought she said she was 17 or something. No, I've got the transcript right here. I, I believe that, sir. Right. He was told online she was 13 and even referred to her young age several times wishing she was five years older and as for all the explicit sex talk. I was trying to see if I could find out if that was a cop or so I didn't waste the well, it sounds, like, it, it sounds like what you're trying to see is if you could score with a 13-year-old girl. No, sir. I mean, have you chatted online with underage girls before? Quite honestly, I had one time before. A young girl? Yeah. She, she says he was chatting with a 14-year-old girl, oh. and the girl's mother's boyfriend was a cop who found out about it and wanted to press charges. It never went to trial. I, I apologized and everybody. Did you plead? Guilty or no contact? We didn't go to court. It was just over the phone and like, hey, I'm sorry. This is why I said that. Was, uh, it, was it a scary situation to you? Yeah. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah. But it doesn't seem so tonight. And I didn't, like I said, I wouldn't do nothing bad. You say, I want to make love to you. Have you ever seen people have sex? Um, it's just Then you send, her, you send her a picture of people having sex. I thought she asked for it. She asked for it. She didn't ask for it. You sent it to her. And even if she did, I mean, that's, you're not supposed to be sending stuff like that to somebody who's 
says they're 13. But instead of taking responsibility, he tries to blame it all on the decoy. She was wanting me to come up here and see her so bad, and I didn't want to disappoint her. You're a grown man. I know. Well, what do you think should happen to you? I don't know. I don't. Well, there's something i got to tell you. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet young teens online for sex. It's all wrong in my part, but she led me on a little too, and I understand both ways. I, I mean, she's she, not driving the train here. You're the grown-up. I know. Now you get that, right? Yeah, it's stupid on my part. As he heads for the door, Dustin doesn't seem to know that officers from the Warren County Sheriff's Office are waiting to arrest him. Dustin, just take a step out, okay? Take a step out. Okay. 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 Because of his disability, officers are careful taking him into custody. I thought they said I wasn't under arrest. I wasn't hurt, little Bernie. While he's being booked, his car is searched. Braun electric razor, some uh, KY uh, lubricant, and uh, you know, digital camera as well. Then he's brought in for questioning, where he admits to bringing a razor and lubricant. What were you going to use it for? I guess. Was it in case you had sex with her? Yeah, but I was going to try not to. But you would have had sex if you hit it off with her. If we got along and I thought it was a meaningful relationship, honestly, then, yeah. Again, he says he's not the only one to blame. The girl teased him into coming. Call, she called me today, want me to come up here. Mm -hmm. Well, you were telling her you were her boyfriend, right? Uh, you wanted to marry her. After she's 18. Okay. If we got along. And yeah, how does he explain that. the picture he sent? Because she said she'd never seen a penis before. Mm -hmm. why, does it, why does a girl that age have to see one? I don't have no answer for that one. He admits that he probably possesses child pornography. There's probably a few photos and a few videos that I had downloaded. Have you ever met anybody in any other chat rooms that you've had sex with? Yes. Any of them underage? No, sir. Dustin Jacob McFetridge. Later, he goes before a judge where he enters a not guilty plea. Your bond will also be 50000 cash. Should I be signed over to the custody of my mother? No, sir. Okay, I'll see you Friday. She gets her vehicle back. I'll see you Friday at 9 a.m. Okay. 